Now to the latest on that California woman who claims she was kidnapped. The police say it was all a hoax, but this morning, the woman's attorney is telling us what's in an email he says was sent by the alleged kidnappers. ABC's Mara Scavacampo is here with the latest on all this. Good morning, Robin. Very unusual story here. The attorney is maintaining that the woman was abducted and drugged and now saying that the kidnappers have even written a letter describing in detail how and why they did it. Police claimed her mysterious disappearance was nothing but a hoax, drawing comparisons to Gone Girl. My wife, Amy Elliott Dunn, disappeared three days ago. But this morning, Denise Huskins' attorney says he has proof his client isn't a liar, but a victim, and that her kidnappers are still on the loose. I have come to receive a 15-page, single-spaced email from the kidnappers. Speaking with ABC News overnight, Douglas Rappaport characterized a stunning manifesto. He says the alleged kidnappers emailed to the San Francisco Chronicle after Huskins suddenly turned up safe Wednesday, two days after her boyfriend, Aaron Quinn, reported she was abducted from his Vallejo, California home. They talk very extensively about how they prepared for it, what weapons to use. Rappaport wouldn't tell us how he got the email email or show us its contents. But ABC News was able to see it from another source. In it, the group compares themselves to the crew from Ocean's Eleven. In this town, your luck can change just that quickly. Calling themselves college-educated career criminals who say they only nabbed Huskins as a dry run so they could kidnap higher-profile victims in the future. In fact, they say Huskins wasn't even their intended target. They felt terribly when they discovered that it was her, but yet since this was a training mission, they decided to carry it out regardless. According to the email, they eventually felt so badly, they simply let her go, dropping her off in her hometown of Huntington Beach, where they thought she'd be safe. The group won't ID itself, but says it feels the need to defend Denise and her boyfriend against police's claims last week. Mr. Quinn and Ms. Huskins, has plundered valuable resources away from our community. Authorities haven't spoken out about the case since, and of course, it's still not clear who the mysterious email came from. Now, the San Francisco Chronicle is reporting they received another letter from the alleged kidnappers yesterday, that one allegedly making threats against police if they don't apologize to Huskins by this afternoon. A lot of really unusual twists in this story. Kidnappers who are sympathetic toward the person that they allegedly... Well, okay. apparently wow. they don't like That's people being police. falsely accused. They don't so. like people being falsely accused. They want to set the record straight. It's a strange one. Thank you, Mara. Mm -hmm. <laughs>